Hi and uh, hello dreamers so welcome to one more youtube uh, weekly series and myself dr bharat kumar vedi and in this video i'll be discussing another drug and the name is called salbutamol so i can make you understand uh, the important aspect of salbutamol by the name itself let us start our journey the first letter is s so s means salbutamol is a short acting beta agonist so s stands for saba that is short acting beta agonist is there any other saba we have yes that is called darbutalin a the next letter a is albuterol so other name for salbutamol is albuterol so the next letter is l so apart from saba do we have any other drug yes they are called as laba laba stands for long acting beta agonist so two drugs are there formetrol and salmetrol remember formetrol start with f so it has fast onset of action salmetrol start with s it has slow onset of action then we have the next letter b B stands for it is a bronchodilator and we use it in mainly in B for bronchial asthma. The next letter is U. So the drug has uterine relaxant property. So not only this, any beta agonist like ritodrine, isoxaprine, these drugs also have uterine relaxant property. The next letter is T. T stands for the adverse effect seen with salbutamol that is tremors. The next one is tachycardia that is increase in heart rate. tolerance what do you mean by tolerance if you use the drug repeatedly again and again the drug will not work you have to increase the dose of the drug the next letter is a so what does a stands for it is used for acute attack of asthma but it is not used for prophylaxis why we don't use it for long term prophylaxis the problem is it can develop it can develop tolerance the next letter is m what does m stands for m stands for metered dose in error so it's a device to deliver salbutamol by inhalation route Apart from that do we have any other devices yes the other devices are called as dry powder inhaler and something called nebulizer the next letter is o o stands for salbutamol when we give orally it has very high fast pass metabolism the last letter is l it can lower potassium so that is called hypokalemia so salbutamol can cause hypokalemia not only that it can also cause hyperglycemia that is increase in glucose So the drug of the week is salbutamol and we understood all the important aspect of salbutamol in the name itself and if you find the video useful please like it subscribe and share to your friends thank you all subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from preplada